Welcome back to Update Day in Old School. To kick off this week's update, we have massive changes to a night at the theater quest. After a lot of negative feedback, they essentially decided to completely rework the quest. And with today's update, they launched the new version that regardless of whether you completed the original version or not, you still have to complete the newest rework. A couple things they wanted to note is that you will lose the two quest points and regain them once you complete the quest. But players who have already used the combat XP lamps from completing the quest, you will not receive them again on the second time, and your XP doesn't change. In addition to that, they also slightly changed the requirements. It is now a taste of hope as the quest requirement in order to complete a night at the theater. And they made this change because the elements they added, they felt the Myraki final quest line was an important aspect of this edition. Apart from that though, nothing else changed. The recommendation and rewards are completely identical as before. Also this week we have quest icon improvements. Within the old school map system, you can now hover over a quest icon and it will state whether the quest is not started, started, or completed. And then finally to round out this week's episode, we have some big changes to combat achievements. Basically some rebalancing to some terribly difficult tasks as well as a few changes to some tasks that maybe didn't fit their tier too well. First off, we have Squashing the Giant, and this has been changed from rather than taking no damage at all to now taking no damage without the appropriate prayer activated. The next task is the Shazian Protector, and this is now changed to Killing a Lizardman Shaman in Mulch, which has dealt no damage to anyone, but this does exclude spawns, meaning the little purple guys who explode, you can take damage from those. And then finally, the third one they changed in the easy tier is a very important task to me, honestly. And that is the not so great after all task, which would require you to kill a greater demon with an arc light requiring 75 attack in the easy tier. But that has been changed to now finishing off a greater demon with just a demon bane weapon. Some other changes are the Fasani's nightmare and nightmare kill counts are now combined into one big kill count. Corrupted gauntlet completions count for regular gauntlet KC task. The fighting as intended task can now be completed on Dead Man Worlds, and the perfect task within the Theater of Blood will no longer fail once the NPC has started his death animation. And finally, to round off this week's update, we have some potential changes they are offering, and these are everything from nerfs to buffs depending on whether they felt the content was too easy to complete or too hard for its respective tier. Just a few of them are like reducing the Obor and Bryophytas from 10 times to 5 times, making them way less time grindy in terms of getting the keys. For the most part, all of these are massive deductions in terms of total kill counts for their respective boss and tier. And I do want to know if you didn't catch that, these are not changes that are already going to affect into the game. They want to see what the current player feedback and standpoint is on whether you would like these changes or whether you don't think they're necessary. But with that, that is everything for this week's update. Once again, they just confirmed the Summer Summit stream, which will be happening this Saturday, July 31st. But apart from that, that is everything this week. If you guys did enjoy this video, consider dropping it a like. It massively helps out these videos. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.